What's up guys? Chris at Luxury Cigar Club here and I am here with a new cigar to show you. This is the Los Tados Deluxe Maduro from Room 101 Cigars and this is another episode of Fresh Cut Friday. So, uh, as many of you guys know that uh, Matt Booth sold Room 101 Cigars to STG, and he's still the creative director there. So this cigar is, is very heavily influenced by Matt Booth. I've actually smoked a few of these already, and I'm really excited to smoke another one with you guys today. Um, I will be smoking the Maduro Churchill, it's a 7x49, uh, comes in a 20 count box, which is right here. This box is amazing. Guys, I'm really excited to be back here with you today. This is the first episode of Fresh Cut Friday that we've done in quite a while. There's nothing better than a Room 101 stick to get us started again. Now remember, Fresh Cut Friday is an overview of the cigar and not a review of the cigar. We are very much of the mindset that, that taste is selective. I'm gonna give you maybe my opinion and, and that doesn't represent anyone else's opinion. So as always, try it for yourself and uh, that's the best way to go. So without further ado, without more pause, without holding any longer, I'm gonna smoke one of these. Presentation of the cigar is absolutely beautiful, paper wrapped. Let's get you guys a little bit of a closer look at the paper wrap. So um, Matt Booth has done this paper wrap before uh, a lot, and usually he uses a stick of tape to seam to put the seam together. This is looks like it's glued or something like that. The 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 little piece of tape comes undone often in the humidor after a while. This looks like it's going to stay sealed much better. So I'd like to see that they have identified an issue there and potentially corrected it as well. Um, behind the paper wrap is the nice little tissue paper, which is pretty cool. And then behind that is drum roll please the cigar and what a beautiful cigar it is you know one of the things that i really really am excited about this specific brand is the value proposition of it now this is the second release in the los Tados deluxe line also known as lsd uh, the cigar comes in four different sizes. It comes in a Robusto 5x50, comes in a 6x52 Toro, and it also comes in a 7x49 Churchill, which is what I'm smoking right here. And then it comes in a 6x60, a Gigante. One thing I notice about Room 101 specifically is since they did join STG, Scandinavian Tobacco Group, there's been a lot of 60 ring gauge cigars coming out of the factory. So, Respectively, the prices are the, the MSRP on each one of these cigars, which I think is one of the most exciting parts of it. Let's see, I'm gonna have to cheat. I'm gonna use a cheat sheet here. So their box is a 20. The Robusto uh, comes in at $8.79 a cigar. The Toro box is a 20, comes in at $9.49 a cigar. The Churchill box of 20 comes in at $9.99 a cigar. And the Gigante box of 20, the 6 x 60s comes in at $9.99 a cigar. That is wildly impressive if you ask me because this is a good cigar. Room 101 Cigars is something that we have been in love with for, for a very long time. Any of you that knows the Luxury Cigar Club knows that Room 101 and Luxury Cigar Club are, are kind of like that. The production on these cigars is, is regular production. They're made at Hots in Honduras. It's a US broadleaf wrapper. It is a, a Nicaraguan Esteli binder, and it is a Dominican and Honduran filler blend on the cigar. I would call the cigar medium to medium plus, maybe medium plus to full, depending on your palate. The wrapper leaf is, is gorgeous. It's not the best highest tier quality wrapper leaf. And, and again, the one I'm smoking here, the retail on it is $9.99. So you're talking about, you know, today and at and today's prices, this is a pretty well-priced cigar. But the wrapper leaf on the cigar is nice looking wrapper leaf. It's not the, the cleanest looking wrapper leaf that I've ever seen on a cigar, but it, it, it is good looking. Smoke time on the Churchill for me is about an hour and a half, maybe a little bit less, depending on how fast I'm smoking or if I'm doing a lot of work while I'm smoking. Flavors. Real typical broadleaf notes. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of cream. So really unique experience when you have Piloto Cubano in a cigar. Uh, in the Dominican Republic, they grow a lot of Piloto Cubano, which is one of the 
filler leaves that are in this. And on the tip of your tongue, you can feel a slight tingle um, when you have a cigar with Piloto Cubano in it. This does have Piloto Cubano. And if you, when you smoke one for yourself, you'll notice that slight little tingle uh, on, the, on the front of your tongue. But sweetness, cream, uh, a little bit of spice. I would want, I would want to say like it's almost like a cinnamon raisin spice, um, but nothing serious. And that's might be a little bit extreme. Retro hell on it's really good, almost like vanilla. Um, very sweet, very smooth. Not a lot of spice on the retro hail. And, and I can tell you, I've smoked this as my third or fourth one now. It is not a very dynamic cigar, so. It's pretty similar all the way through, but that makes for an experience you can count on. So, you know, old reliable here. Now, I will tell you it's the price point that makes this cigar for me. Good flavor, good consistency, good construction, but the price point is really what does it for me because this cigar is nothing special. And that's the truth, right? But at $10, it's pretty special to me. You can smoke this all day long, you, you're, you can count on the experience, and for me, it's the price. If, if it was cheaper, uh, it would be better, and if it was more expensive, it would be worse. So guys, since PCA in 2023, there's been a lot of new product hitting the market, and we want to cover all of it, right? Fresh Cut Friday is a place where we can go in and talk about something new. I kind of need your help deciding what I should be talking about, though. We're gonna have to go back in time a little bit. Some of the stuff that we cover might be something that you've already smoked or, or maybe it's not. But if you guys can do me a favor and comment below and let me know what cigar you want me to do next on Fresh Cup Friday, I really appreciate it. The more help, the better. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, guys, as always, it's been really exciting being here with you today. I love talking about cigars. We love sending cigars out to you. Um, we have some really exciting things coming for our Luxury Cigar Club members, so keep your eyes open for that. Also, don't forget to follow us at Luxury Cigar Club. You can also follow me at Luxury Cigar Chris, and please make sure to like and comment on this video. We really appreciate the support. This has been another episode of Fresh Cut Friday, and damn it, I'm happy to be back. I love you all very much. Bye-bye.